You might remember this. We told you this story last month here on News 5. This is a Parma man trying to change the way that we think about skunks. Derek Paramore and his pet Valentine hope to teach people about skunks in the wild and dispel the stigma and the fear around the animals. Paramore says Valentine wins people over when they get to pet him. Oh, he's cute. He says that he is hoping to help people not judge a book by its cover. And maybe Derek and Valentine are in North Ridgeville right now because they are in good company. It is the annual Skunk Fest and it is underway and our Caitlin Hunt is there and she's been getting us up to speed with a lot of facts about skunks that I didn't know. Caitlin, good morning. Good morning, Tessa. Neither did I. I'm learning a lot this morning just as much as you are. And I'm here with Tom and Ginger. They've been teaching me a lot today about skunks as well. And they're the proud owners of three skunks here, but I'll let them talk about it. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. Great. Good. Great. Awesome. So tell me about the little guys you guys are holding right here. So this is Winston. Winston is a rescue. He is uh, six years old. Mm -hmm. uh, he came to us when he was only one. Um, so far, he's his, his been doing fine. When he came to us, he was overweight, but uh, now he has uh, lost about 11 or 12 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, this one here is uh, Blair. Mm -hmm. Blair is, uh, uh, we believe it's, uh, she's three years old. So she is only uh, not even five pounds. And uh, um, she came to us because, the, uh, or this two came to us because the previous owners, they don't, they couldn't take care of them anymore. So. You know. Oh wow! So, what made you guys say, "Hey, let's take in some pet or some skunks as our pets"? What What's so special about them? Well, in the beginning, it's just because you know, um, you just didn't want just a pet like a cat or a dog. So, um, this is one of the options. Um, you know, maybe reptiles are not our thing, but uh, this these guys are so cute. But they do need uh, a lot of uh, um, attention. They uh, they're unusual. Um, they are uh, not legal in all the United States, only 17 or 18 states, depending on how you uh, interpret the laws. Um, and health care is also a problem because no, all, not all offices would take them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so lots of things to consider before, you know, our viewers at home decide, you know, to take in a skunk themselves. But what's the best part of, you know, owning a skunk? What's your favorite part of being the proud parents of three skunks? Um, they are superstars. We're just riding on their cocktails. We're they just start their a caretakers. Anywhere yeah. we go. And uh, they, they they can be uh, you know affectionate too. They can be temperamental. Uh, not all of them are uh, friendly, but not all of them are mean either. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, they depends. But uh, they are highly regulated, even by uh, federal go government. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are they they make great pets for some people, but I have to say again, they're not for everybody. Mm -hmm. Of course, like you said, something to consider, you know, before you go home and decide to take in a skunk yourself. A lot of things to consider, yes. but they're very cute and very fun. Tessa, I think we should consider getting a skunk for the news station. <laughs> a newsroom skunk. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I will put the good word in there, Caitlin. Thank you so much. Yes.